Vocalco tracks the killer Filipino singing TikTok compilation. Let's go. I would give you everything before I separate myself from you. After so much suffering, I finally found a man is true. After robbing myself from the longest time, so cold inside. And you're keeping me warm each and every night I feel like die Until you save my life Thank God I found you I was lost I without you My every wish and every <laughs> dream Somehow became reality When you but the Hey, I know this song. I've reacted to the version that Buddha Kill and Katrina Velarde did. It's an amazing cover. It's originally by Mariah Carey. A wonderful song, beautiful lyrics. These two girls really did a positive kind of, you know, just feel good version. It was a bit low for them in a couple of parts. Their harmonies were pretty good. All in all, a couple of pitchy, small mistakes, but all in all, very positive. I really like the vibe and I really respect them for doing it. It's a cool song, not an easy one to do, and they did a very good job. Try natin yung walang hingahan. Akin ka na lang gilil. Akin ka na lang. Akin ka na lang. Perfect, perfect mix voice, a bit belty at a couple of parts, but perfect placement, just frontal, very pitch perfect, amazing. This was great, <laughs> nothing to add there. My dreams came true when I found you, I found you. I know that guy. The dude is incredible. I so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. And something takes over me in the day. You look so amazing. It's not a phase. I want you to stay with me by my side. I swallow my pride. Your love is so incredible. sweet. And it knocks me right over my feet. Yeah. I can't. Beautiful falsetto, beautiful runs. Now, what I've noticed with Filipinos in general, most of them really like R&B. That's like something, like it's, it's like your go-to genre. And uh, I really like how you're singing it. All of you. I mean, I don't know what's with the Fil Filipinos. I've already mentioned this in a couple of videos. Like, what do you guys eat there? I know that you, some of you already said that you're like basically born with karaoke machines. Everybody's singing from day one. It's something like, I don't know, it's almost like a cultural thing for you. Every house has a karaoke machine. Let me know if that's true. I've read a couple of comments saying that and I find it a bit hard to believe. But when I'm listening to these singers, I mean, it makes sense. Every single one of them is way above an average singer, you know, way above an average. And uh, even when they do a couple of mistakes, it's like so small that it's compared to some other singers from other parts of the world. I don't know. It's just something. I think that it even has something to do with the Filipino language. Just your 
uh, placement when you're singing it. It's really in the mask. I think that has a lot to do with the language that you're speaking. It's just very upward there. It's not coming from your throat. And I think that helps you a lot when you're singing. And I think that that's a great thing because when you're starting singing, you don't have so many bad habits like some other singers from other parts of the world. So Filipinos definitely a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I need to step up my game. Wow. Perfect falsetto. Clear as day. Straight, very laser focus. I'm dirty the moon, and I thank God I'm reading. But then I pray, don't take me soon. Cause I am here for a reason I know this song Sometimes in my tears I drown, I drown. But never let it get me down A bit of wreckage So when negativity is around I think I know I know how someday you will all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for it I've been praying for it For the people to say that we don't when I fight no more, there will be no more wives And our children will play One day One day One day Oh, right One day <laughs> One day I've reacted to this song as well One day I've reacted to this song as well I've reacted to the version that Bugoy Druon was singing Reggae song, Bugoy did a brutal job the dude is just a crazy good singer. Now, what I've said before, a lot of Filipinos really like R&B, but a lot of you also like reggae music. And reggae is also very kind of uh, high placement when it comes to singing. But at the same time, reggae is more raw. It's, it's more kind of throaty. And uh, it's interesting combining those two elements because it's almost like you, can, you are able to sing uh, runs and stuff like that very easily, but you also have that kind of raspiness that almost comes with age, you know, it's like something when you're listening to Bob Marley, it's almost like uh, even um, a very, let's say, what's the term, voice that is a bit tired, but at the same time, it's uh, very positive and it's like you're relying on God's help to help you sing all of those notes perfectly. And this last guy was just like, I've I had that feeling. And that's something that I'm actually trying to teach myself a bit more, to kind of let go, to trust God a bit more, because I know that when I uh, give my life to Him completely, when I really believe in everything, I know that things kind of uh, fall into place on their own. I'm a kind of a guy that really likes to organize things and really likes to even have a schedule and really want to know what I'm exactly doing and sometimes especially when you're having you know kids and stuff like that uh that's not really easy to do you need to rely on his help and i'm learning that every day more and more i am a, a catholic and i am a believer i mean that's a bit of off topic maybe here but i think that beside you guys being very incredible singers and having kind of a this language that helps you from the start even your faith in god helps you become even better. Because when I'm listening to you, uh, it reminds me of this thing that they're teaching us. You need to try to look at people and see them in the way that God sees them. And because we are created to God's image, think about it. We can be powerful and we can be kind of cool and amazing and great as well. But not to be cocky, not to be full of ourselves, but just to be amazing and powerful the way he is because he did create us in his own image. And when I'm listening to you guys, you guys are all, I mean, most of the guys and girls that I've listened to, Filipinos and Filipina singers, are just off the hook incredible. Off the hook. And I find it hard to believe that God didn't have anything to do with that. I mean... It's, of course, practice and hard work and listening to amazing singers and stuff like that. A part of your culture, singing every day and uh, having those karaoke machines and stuff like that. But 
there's definitely a lot of God's influence there. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe and see you in the next one.